Hello, hello, and welcome to a very, very, very exciting weekend in my life vlog. Brandon and I, he's changing back there, so I'm trying to like block him. But we are going to have a happy weekend. We are about to head over to Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, and tomorrow morning I'm doing my first ever half marathon. Mm -hmm. Kind of freaking out. I'm really nervous. This cutie was supposed to do it with me, but you know, <laughs> he keeps saying he still is, but look at that boot he's wearing. He hurt himself playing basketball, so. I'm going solo, I'm going solo, but I'm a strong, independent woman who's gonna run a half marathon, and it's gonna be fine. So, tonight we're just going to chill at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's about 1.30, almost 1.30 now, so we're gonna check in, and then the Gators, um, the University of Florida team, is playing at 3 p.m., so we're gonna watch that. Well, mostly Brandon. I'll probably edit a video and stuff because I'm not super into watching football, but I always like to cheer on the Gators. And then we'll probably walk around, look at the animals, and then get some dinner and just relax. I wanna watch some Mickey cartoons and just get a really good night's sleep before I wake up and run 13.1 miles. This is my little outfit of the day. I am very happy with it. It's so cozy. I'm wearing this oversized little Mickey sweatshirt from Boohoo and then these little biker shorts from Fabletics. And then I have my white sneakers from Just Fab. They have this cute little sparkle detail in the back which I adore. And then I'm wearing this little Mickey hat that I got at a event with Citizen Watches. So I've had it for a while. I don't know if it's available anywhere, but I'll link everything I can. And Brandon, he's just setting up his watch over there, his new watch. And then we are off to our hotel. I got my cute little runner Mickey, so precious. It says, I did it in a little metal, so cute. And then I also put on the little luggage tag that they gave us when we picked up our packet. You can put like your information on the back, but this is like the logo for this year's half marathon. Little American Mickey with his pie, and I'm definitely gonna be thinking about all the food I'm gonna eat after the race, and that is gonna get me through. Taking over for her oh YouTube. Now that I'm in the passenger seat and I have nothing to do. You can't drive. <laughs> so, what do you have to, to take talk over. To? What do you have to say for yourself? Um, it's hard, right? You have to nothing. like say stuff. Nothing you that's interesting to, to your fans. <laughs> Just talk about the weather. The weather. It's cooling down. Nice. This is a riveting. Below 80 degrees. You need to have some enthusiasm. Still relatively high humidity. Humidity Tomorrow is often misunderstood. Oh my God. It's actually a pretty tricky concept. Humidity. You get into relative humidity, oh which God. is what is measure, measured in percent. Put them percent. to sleep. <laughs> it is the partial pressure of the water vapor in the air Yay! currently divided by the partial pressure of the water vapor at saturation so if you're 100 percent humidity the air cannot hold any more water vapor so it will condense into water in its liquid form wow the more you know the more you know you can't put the air too loud or else the video is too the it's sound hot. Is, yeah but the sound is going to be pooped Vlogger tip 101, when you vlog in the car, you can't put the AC too high or else no one can hear you. nice and cozy we actually switched rooms because the first room we got i just got bad vibes it was like so dark and there were bunk beds and it was 
all the way down the hall and with poor Brandon's little foot it takes him a long time to walk so we switched rooms but I like this one a lot more and now we are gonna go grab a little snack and a coffee before the Gator game starts and we're just gonna watch it on our TV so yeah and I got Mickey all set up nice and cozy on our bed We got the goods. We got some cold brew, coffee, and we got a whole bag of food. We got a turkey sandwich. We like never eat turkey, but you know, gotta get that protein. And then we got some french fries, <laughs> some coleslaw, and then some honey mustard and barbecue sauce because I'm such a sauce girl. I always like to dip everything in a lot of sauce. So we're excited to enjoy that and watch the Gators win, woohoo! <laughs> So yummy, got our beds, little Mickey, cute husband, and the gators. <laughs> got our Sanaa bread service and I'm so excited. It's non bread and it comes with lots of different sauces and it truly is so flavorful and delicious and it's so magical to eat it in bed. <laughs> It's time for bed. I got Mickey all cuddled up. Brandon's about to crawl into bed and we have the alarm set for 3 a.m. So, oh my gosh. Here goes nothing. Sweet dreams, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the start line. I need to put my hair up still. I just am like cuddled up in my um, sweatshirt because it's kind of chilly. It's not that cold, thankfully, or else I would be like frozen. You know how I am with cold weather. But um, feeling good, still waking up. I have some coffee though. At our hotel, they had like a little coffee station in the lobby when we went to the bus. So that's awesome, but I'm gonna put my hair up. We still have about an hour until the race actually starts. You just have to get to the finish, I mean the start line so early. <laughs> but it's okay, feeling good. And this sweet boy took me and he's gonna go back to the hotel after I start, but so sweet, feeling good, ready to just get her going. I got my Citizen watch on. You know, I'll be running in style. today but feeling good only 13.1 miles until I stuff my face with Mickey waffles <laughs> Oh, 
love you. I have so much fun. <laughs> nine I'm pretty sure I'm feeling good my legs are starting to get tired but I feel good everywhere else it's just my legs are getting a little sore but it's been really fun so far actually I'm doing run walk so that's helping a lot I was calling out to me I was just down there and now the and now I'm all the way up here so wild guys I finished yay I did it 13.1 miles <laughs> it really was so much fun I took pictures with tons of characters paced myself got this beautiful medal it was such a good time. I was nervous because I didn't know what to expect. It was my first one, but I loved it. And it's such a beautiful day outside. It's like it's 70 degrees, so feeling good. My legs are definitely sore though, like not gonna lie. They feel like they need some rest, but naturally. Boma, Boma we're Boma. gonna go get some food, some Mickey waffles, sorry. <laughs> I just hit him in the face. You're fine, you're fine, baby. Right? We just dropped our suitcases off at the car, and now we're walking back to the lodge. Animal Kingdom Lodge, and we're gonna eat so much food. I cannot wait, I'm so hungry. The last thing I ate was those jelly beans on the race. We got little like jelly beans. They tasted like you were eating Powerade um, or Gatorade, and I had a bar before the race, so at least I had something, but very, very hungry. Also, I took a shower in the hotel room, so I'm all fresh and clean and cozy. The weather is seriously so nice today, so I'm not even sweating wearing this sweatshirt, which is very rare in Florida. I sat down to edit and realized I never filmed an outro for this vlog. Clearly, I was so exhausted after running 13 miles, naturally. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for cheering me on for my race. And I really appreciate and love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you soon. You were always taking time, baby.